Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and I'm here to talk about another video about the spiritual world and my ideas and how um, life there is. Like not just about separate things about vision and things like that, but more on um, how and why the spiritual world is beautiful and how and why the spirits live con with contentment and live with joy every day. And um, a lot of people say that when they pass away, when they have a near-death experience or whatever, they see these beautiful, um, lush, you know, extravagant environments like these forests and lakes and rivers and things like that, and mountainous, beautiful places. And it's like almost like illuminescent. It gives off its own glow. It gives off its own um, sparkle. It's very beautiful, very uh, vibrant, sharp, uh, dramatic colors, things like that. One thing I want to talk about is that uh, one of the reasons why um, a lot of, the reason why um, emotionally um, the spirits are, are, are happy and, and contentment there is because their environment is, uh, the environment is, full, is nothing but energy. It's not so much of uh, the physical state as we perceive it, which is basically a simulation here on earth is, you know, when we think of it as a simulation but in, in, in the spiritual realm it's uh, the, the energy is much more uh, you can feel the energy of the world and the energy of, the, of that world is more progressive it's it's not uh, stationary and it's constantly flowing and going and going and uh, one of the reasons why uh, the world is beautiful and they perceive colors better is because the individuals are projecting themselves onto the environment and the environment is projecting back from what they're projecting out you know so it's like a bounce you know it's like a like a like a like a sonar thing like uh, how they send like a, how bats send out from uh, uh, sound waves and it bounces back to them so they can see in the darkness you know because they don't have good vision you know and uh, like radar kind of bouncing things like that uh, we bounce off constantly flowing out of our knowledge and our emotions is constantly bouncing and being reflected out in this world. And this world bounces back what we're feeling, um, what we project out. So it projects back what we're feeling. So it lets us know what, what is going on inside. And the world is progressive and is constantly flowing. Um, one of the thing is, is that the reason why things look beautiful is because people are perceiving what they see, how they feel within themselves. The, in, the, the innate nature of humans, whether living or dead, is to always be entertained. Never be stationary or static or stale. Never be in a position where it's stuck. And, and, and that's the constant nature of the world itself. We don't notice it, but the world's constantly changing in minute levels every day. But we don't care and notice. And the spiritual world, things are constantly changing in minute levels too. The constant flow of energy is changing and, and, and the people are perceiving those constant changes. And this, this world that they're in is like a, a wash or an ocean of constant flow of energy, change, fluctuations. Plants are growing and blossoming. They feel the plant growing every millisecond of its existence. They feel the plants, they feel the trees growing of, it, of its every minute second of its existence. They feel the, if there's, if there's breezes, they feel the breezes on... Uh, uh, on the sensation of the leaves blowing, how the leaves feel, and they feel the leaves, what the leaves feel, and so they're they're out of the, the anchor, they're out of the physical body. So now the spirit is now intertwined and basically um, melded, infused with this spiritual energy, and so like the world is much more um, uh, vibrant and much more entertaining. And 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 the main thing is though is that. In, in, in the living world, the, in, in the living or the dead, the biggest enemy of the living, whether living or dead, is, is boredom. Boredom is the thing that will end life, living or dead. And uh, the universe knows that constant progressiveness, constant flow, constant go, 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 constant changes um, need to be always, uh, need to be always uh, apparent and, and constantly uh, a shifting and it needs to be there it needs to be always there constant changes and so uh, the the reason why 
things are so vibrant and so beautiful there is because now the spiritual world can feel these things and notice the minute the minute subtleties of this spiritual realm and um <clears throat> And let's say that because there's no days, there's no Tuesdays or Wednesdays, but uh, in the spiritual realm, the thought process is constantly flowing. The spirit's constantly flowing. And the constant flow of the thoughts is never stale or stagnant or static. Uh, it's constantly going and flowing. And because the, the thoughts, which is like the, the predecessor of the activator of emotions, of the heart and everything, which is most intertwined basically, the heart and mind is intertwined because the spirit is constantly, uh, now they're free, so now their thoughts can flow out since they're they're constantly flowing, their mind is flowing, their thoughts are flowing, their heart is beating and everything the spiritual heart is beating, this constant flow of energy is constantly going out and because it's flowing out um, their world around them does not seem to be boring, it's entertaining because they're, they're, there's no limits no more. So when they look at, let's say they look at the green grass, every millisecond of every day, even while sitting there for hours on end, staring at the spiritual grassy field in this spiritual world, the grass is never um, uh, the same color. It never becomes boring to stare at a blade of grass in the spiritual world because the mind's um, thought process is flowing and the and the spiritual realm is is basically bouncing off like a radar bounce back and forth of our energy and thoughts our emotions thoughts bouncing back and forth the, the thought process is basically activating that it reflects back and forth and because it's bouncing back and forth your perception of what you're looking at is constantly changing constantly changing a green blade of grass doesn't stay just green it's it's every second that you stare at it the green becomes slightly more maybe more golden or has a, a slight tinge of blue and then one second later it's more of a purpley kind of golden brown and maybe another another second later it's not so um, green it's more of a like a like a sky blue with the with the with the hint and tint of green of of of, uh, of like black mixed with uh, gold or something like that, you know. So and the reason why it's constantly changing is because it's projecting back and forth your thoughts and your emotions. So it's so every second that you're living in this world, everything that you're staring is never is never static and and stale. It's constantly flowing and reflecting back to you your feelings and your thoughts so it's never sitting still your emotions are constantly going out and because it's going out the ch it, it changes your world around you and it changes your perception of your what you're staring at at every second so it never becomes boring it's always entertaining because of your existence and how you just you're a spirit you're free and you're in this environment and everything that you do everything that you stare at every even the way that you walk and the way that you create gestures is constantly always interesting, constantly always transforming and intriguing. A tree, a bark on a tree is constantly changing and more intriguing than it was a second ago when you look to the clouds. You come back and look at the bark again and now the bark is constantly, it's, for somehow it's changed. You know, the logic, of, the logic of your perception of the bark is now changed again. The color of it is slightly different, and it, and the reason why it's changed is because your emotions is constantly flowing and going, and your perception, your emotional perception changes what you're staring at, so it's never the same. It changes with you. You change it, and it changes you. And you you both are intertwined together, and and in the living we can live like that, but but the body is like a like a like an anchor. It's like a shell, and we have to work harder as a living. To kind of feel and be subtle and meditate and feel softly and perceive softly, you know. And it's a little bit harder, you know, in the living to kind of do that because uh, there's so much emotional stress and personal turmoils and social stresses and, and physical stresses and all these other things. 
You know, every little thing gets you, sets off your, your anger, your, you know, your passive aggressive, <laughs> you know, the, the, the living is just, you know, it, it, I mean, the living is hell, man, you know, and the spiritual world, it's, uh, it's better. And I'm not speaking in terms of religion, I'm not speaking in terms of God, I'm speaking in terms of how the spirit world, the afterlife is, and it is the totality. The spiritual world is the totality, it, it, in, it encompasses all of the all of the human uh, all of the human emotions all the facets of human thought and emotions it encompasses and it is the totality of all the facets of human emotions and thoughts and because it, it encompasses that it has a constant balanced flow no emotion is bigger anger is not bigger than than happiness happiness and anger is balanced jealousy is not bigger than being humble. Humble and jealousy are balanced. All the emotions are all balanced there, and that's why everything is is uh, is 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 more happier. And the reason why it's happier is because the universe and the spirits know that the human beings they like to have a little bit of funniness, a little bit of a eccentricity, little personal eccentricities, little. Um, so a little bit of a passive aggressiveness, you know, but it, it needs to be all that because that's who we are. Even in the living, even in the spiritual worlds, all those things are acknowledged. Anger and happiness needs to live together. Jealousy and, and, and being humble need to live together and balanced. That's human nature and that's the universe and that's the spirit realm. And I hope you guys like it as Ricky says, but it is. And those are my ideas. Thank you.